Yes, sir. We're officially back at it. This is Book Nice coming at you from New York Toy Fair 2018. I'm here with Rich. We at the Bluefin booth, and he's going to walk us through and uh, give us some insight and some information on everything that's going on for uh, Bluefin, Tamashi, Bandai uh, for 2018 and beyond. So we're looking at uh, Dragon Ball Z, SH Figure Arts Dragon Ball Z stuff first. So some of these here have been released. So Tien is, is hitting now. Uh, Yamcha was, was recently released. Um, you can see um, all their accessories paired out with um, with their appropriate characters. So you've got uh, you've got Nappa and, and Vegeta there uh, with the with the included uh, characters uh, from those two figures. Um, some of the new stuff that we're showing is uh, Master Roshi, uh, Majin Vegeta, uh, Bulma, uh, Frieza, uh, Majin Buu, and uh, we're showing the uh, basically it's a, it's a, a it's not really a budget figure, but it uh, comes in at a really good budget price. Absolutely. So everyone that wants a Goku, um, we want to make sure they can get a Goku. He's, he's the main character in Dragon Ball, and so we've priced it at a, at a price point that's um, um, affordable, and, and it doesn't really um, cut any of the quality that Tomashi Nations is known for. And this is Goku on the new uh, buck that you guys are... Uh putting out the same one as uh t as uh yamcha right yes yes so it has that uh new articulation scheme at the pelvis where it's uh looks better and uh, you know the cuts look look better it looks more streamlined yeah it looks uh, super clean um you know it's getting as close to the uh to the animation model as possible and that one's due when um that one is uh july uh release and uh, do we have a, a date lockdown for uh majin buu um majin buu um there's no official date lockdown yet um but uh, you can see it's kind of uh, it's a pro it's in prototype form mm -hmm. um same with same with the others so majin vegeta uh, master roshi i think is a little bit further along in the process um, but you can notice um, Bulma has a little bit of tack um, for its older, older uh, weapon uh, there, so she, she's pretty, uh, pretty uh, prototype form. What was um, the uh, what was the uh, reasoning for this particular version of, of Bulma first? Um, well, you can see a little bit of a trend. Uh, so you see Majin Vegeta, Majin Buu. Um, at the same time, you've got Kid Goku, uh, Master Roshi, Bulma. So they're trying to kind of. Um, uh, put sets of, of figures together um, versus kind of uh, be all over the map so you can complete um, certain sagas uh, with the characters uh, um, you know every it looks like they're doing them every other month at this point, uh, but you know that can change, obviously. So, so the design for Majin uh, Buu is very unique. Uh, doesn't look like it's something that you guys are going to be able to reuse. So, but I mean, I know that's that's something that most lines like to do is put out something where they can obviously reuse the the body and really really capitalize on it. So, um, I guess my question is. What did it really take for you guys to get this get this out there or to get it uh, in, into production? Well, I mean, you, you see Shenron. Um, you got Shenron there, and, and so I think in terms of being unique and doing you know doing something bigger like that, um, I, I don't think there's a there's a fear uh, of doing it. Um, Napa uh, was was you know recently released, so um, the line is healthy. It's doing well. The fans are supporting it. Um, as long as they keep supporting it, you're going to see um, bigger, cooler, more unique characters. Um, even Master Roshi, you know. Uh, from you know, the, the shell um, and, and the, the body are, are all unique, so um, it's it's not a matter of, of reuse. Um, it's just a matter of making sure that uh, it's accurate and, and it gets out there for the fans. I think the figures look great. I think you guys are going in the right direction, but I think that one of the um, uh, concerns of collectors is some of the scaling. Uh, you know, some people have been saying that Master Roshi is a little on the large side. And, uh, and you know, the uh, Piccolo's still kind of small, and uh, I think people want to see more uh, uniformity as far as the, the scaling is concerned. Are you guys uh, concerned with that at all? Are you looking into that at all? Um, yeah, we can bring that back. I can you know, mention that and bring that back to the design team and, and let them know, hey, there's, there's some um, concerns about scaling, and um, uh, we'll, we'll let them know and, and make sure that they, they address it. Uh, but I know for certain that people want to see more of Master Roshi, different forms from Master Roshi. Uh, but again, I think that was like the number one concern was that uh, his scaling was a little bit off. We were saying that Nappa was a little on the small side. Uh, it didn't really bother me too much, but I do feel like maybe he should be uh, towering over, over Vegeta. Uh, but I really liked the new uh, buck that, that you guys put out with Nappa, and I really like the way they look together. But um, is there any 
plans right now to to maybe do another nap at some point or this was pretty much it yeah I think it's pretty much um, pretty much it um, I, I, I can understand uh, where, where some fans can feel um, that it's undersized but I think um, you know th there's there's a couple things that you have to take into consideration the cost we want to keep it at a at a price point that's affordable um, so you know when you're doing a whole new body like that um, you know I, I don't know why the why the decision was made to keep or to make it smaller mm -hmm. um, or make it you know make something bigger but it's usually you know originally the the first like prototypes that you guys showed he was a little larger though right uh i think actually i think he's the same size yeah uh, i think what ends up happening is so if you look at some of these they're not as as tightly fit together when they're a prototype form mm -hmm. so and and the paint is is um it's it's not finished so it looks i think a little bit bulkier because um, it's it, like that got that matte paint on it and I think that's what maybe gives it the illusion of being um, uh, bigger or bulkier but um, it's pretty much the same the same figure that you saw and I believe it was uh, Toy Fair last year mm -hmm. so um, yeah it's pretty much the same thing so same thing I know I'm beating a dead horse here a little bit but the same thing with um, Kid Goku which I, I, I personally really enjoyed this figure it's such a fun figure a lot of fun factor with this guy he came out great the articulation is great the accessories were great but he was a little large as well so again I don't expect you to keep saying the same thing over and over but I'm just putting it out there so you can bring it back to the to the design team uh, I suppose but again this figure was was amazing though I think it was a great figure uh, what about Goku Black when's he do again uh, Goku Black is scheduled for March okay um, so he's he's coming out pretty soon I think that one that you're looking at there um, is pretty close along um, in the process um, you can see there's a couple numbers on his chest that he's, he's uh, covering up mm -hmm. um, and uh, that's kind of uh, just indicates that it's uh, it's, it's um, get, you know, the, the tooling's getting ready and preparing and they're testing it, so. And Frieza 2.0, uh, once he's slated? Uh, that's scheduled for April release, um, so uh, again, uh, super close. Um, one thing I do want to point out, mm -hmm. um, if you notice the Dragon Ball with Kid Goku, um, you should pay close attention. Um, a lot of the characters are going to come with a unique Dragon Ball. Um, so if you're collecting to get all the Dragon Balls, there are going to be some some items that are going to be um, a little bit more difficult to get. Master Roshi is obviously um, a Tamashi Web exclusive in Japan. Um, so if if you're looking to collect the Dragon Balls, um, all seven of them, um, you're not you're not going to want to miss out on that one because uh, you know, there's there's a chance if it sells out, it'll be it won't be able to be reissued. Because That's very that. cool. I like that you guys did that. So maybe we'll get a. Dragon Ball locator with one of these uh, one of these figures too, huh? Potentially. <laughs> <laughs> so this is our um, Toys R Us uh, fan vault display. Um, we're selling Tomash Nation's products in Toys R Us stores now. Um, there's about uh, I think um, a couple hundred stores uh, that have the fan vault in them, and so the display you can see kind of showcases some of the Tomash products uh, that they'll be carrying. Um, and uh, you know we hope to make it a home for some of the cool stuff like Dragon Ball, Street Fighter, um, even the DC and, and uh, anime licenses as well. What uh, this uh, this plan uh, was in the works, I assume before Toys R Us announced that they were closing a bunch of stores. Is did that uh, affect anything at all, or was everything already pretty much inked before you before that even happened? Yeah. Um, so uh, really, no no impact. Um, the, the product's going to keep going into the stores. Uh, the Fan Vault uh, stores are doing well. The Fan Vault itself is doing well. Um, I know some fans that are aware of it are saying, hey, uh, it's, it's hard for us to find product. Um, we're, we're trying to make sure the product's getting there. I know it's, uh, some of it's selling through at, at certain uh, locations pretty well. And so we're going to just try to make sure that we get stuff on the shelves up for you. Okay. Uh, Sailor Moon, is this something new or this is the uh, from the line that was already out? Yeah, this is Crystal, so it is uh, previously released for okay. Sailor Moon. Okay. So this is, uh, if you're a Transformers fan, so this is our, our version of, of Masterpiece uh, in transformation mode for, for Digimon. So okay. um, that's, what we're, that's basically what we're, we're calling these um, uh, amongst ourselves. So this is like the Masterpiece version of, of Transformer or Digimon. Um, and I mean, they look awesome. Uh, they look really cool when they transform. Uh, they're really accurate to the character models, mm -hmm. um, and they're made of die cast. So let me grab one of these for you. You can feel um, the heft. So they use oh, die cast. Yeah, it's and, definitely got some weight to it. Um, 
So. It's, uh, I, don't, I don't even know. Is Digimon have an ongoing series still right now, or this is all based on the, the last series that was so out? So these are based on the on the originals um, from the early 2000s. Mm-hmm. Um, so if you're a fan of that, essentially, this is your way to get the um, like the souped up, like I said, masterpiece versions. Okay. Um, there's a video game out now. Um, there's media coming out. So um, you know, it's hopefully it'll experience a resurgence, um, and you know, we're looking to make sure Toys R Us was really the spot to get these. Uh, back in the day mm-hmm. and so we want to make sure that it becomes the home again so um, these should start popping up in, in Toys R Us and GameStop stores um, as well. Nice. What's the price point for, uh, um, for these? They vary from, from 60 to 80 bucks. Okay. Want- so um, I think New York Comic Con was the first time um, we kind of revealed some of this stuff and everyone was like what the heck is this because we had a trailer <laughs> running and, and no one really knew like what this was so um, Ninja Batman a Batman Ninja is is essentially a uh, animated movie that's coming out later this year from, from Warner, um, and the figures uh, are SH Figures figures. Um, they're very similar in style to our our May Show Star Wars and um, Marvel figures, mm-hmm. um, but they're they're a smaller figure art scale, um, which I think is is good in the sense that it helps keep the price down. Um, but they look uh, fantastic. The Joker is. The, the, the character design is, is amazing. Looking. Yeah, it's very nice, very unique, very nice. I was actually shooting some stuff uh, here before I got with you, and I was admiring these. They do look really, really good. Uh, who's doing the uh, the animation for the uh, the? It's a a movie, an animated movie that's going to come out. You yeah, said? so uh, it's coming out. Uh, it'll it'll be it'll be out. I think. Um, middle of the year or so um, so the figures will kind of dovetail um, after uh, after the release um, and so it's it's being done by Warner um, so it'll be done in Japan and then um, dubbed uh, for the US market alright so we can expect the animation to be sharp and look really good huh? yeah yeah it's gonna right. look awesome excellent excellent um, got the Justice League here um, I think everyone's seen these some of these are starting to trickle out now uh, Wonder Woman I know is starting uh, to hit uh, shelves now um, Superman and Flash are coming up, and um, we're showing um, Cyborg and um, Aquaman again. Um, and then uh, Catwoman um, is coming uh, in July uh, this year. Uh, the Bat Pod should be dropping uh, anytime now um, it's from the Dark Knight, so um, awesome pairing to have those two uh, together. Uh, Batman. I guess people were expecting Batman to be a little taller. I saw a lot of people doing some mods to Batman as far as his upper torso is concerned and trying to extend the upper torso. I did like the figure, but I do feel like he was a little stumpy maybe in that the uh, the extension of the upper, upper torso does make the figure a lot better. Um, so were you guys kind of aware of, of that? And uh, what happened? I feel like originally he did look like he was taller or that the torso was extended. Um, I don't know why. It, it, you're right. It, uh, we're aware that it's shorter. Um, we let the design team know. I don't know. Um, I don't recall the, the exact size. So I'm not sure if this was the intent for it to be um Uh, like this but I know I've seen the photos comparing it to the Dark Knight and the the height difference so I'm totally aware of that and the design team is aware of it as well so um, so Batman is out I have Batman I have Wonder Woman that was actually a really good figure I like the way she came out Um, so Cyborg Flash Superman Aquaman we still waiting for it what's the uh, those so um, Superman um, I believe is arriving um, should be next after Wonder Woman okay. and then uh, Flash. So they've been um, solicited for pre-order. Um, we, still, we still haven't started on Aquaman um, and Cyborg, um, but you can expect those soon. And this was a, a pleasant surprise to see that you guys are going to be putting these out again. Yeah, so um, we're using the, the color technology um, on the faces to uh, to um, bring the Power Rangers to life. So we've got uh, Green Ranger, Red Ranger, um, and I think they, they look awesome. Um, we actually had the Red Ranger stop by, and he kind of got close up to it. And he was like, he was like, okay." He goes, "All right." So he's, he's like, "This is probably the best version of me I, I've ever seen." <laughs> nice. So he That's wanted to take to it home, but close, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, he wanted to take it home. But we're like, "Hey, this is the only one." So um, he couldn't, but yeah, he, he loved it. He thought it looked awesome. Um, Dragon Sword um, uh, is coming out. Uh, we, I believe it, it just went up for solicitation. Um, so it'll combine um, with the Megazord, and uh, it, I mean. 
you know, typical soul of Chagokin. It'll have diecast parts. Um, it, it'll it'll be awesome. It'll, it'll look really cool when you have the two uh, combined together. So we're looking at about 175 bucks for the Dragon Zord, uh, and the Mega Zord has already been out, uh, right? Yes, uh, um, Mega Zord's been out. It's, uh, I believe around 300 dollars. And so I'm assuming that you guys have plans to go ahead and finish out the 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 crew for uh, for Power Rangers here, right? So it's the 25th anniversary. We're celebrating the 25th. Um, <laughs> we're showing these two guys, but that's all we can say right now. So <laughs> okay, if, if you like them, um, let us know. Buy them. Um, you know, yeah. Well, I mean, not even buy them. Just just let us know. You know, share your feedback. Um, comment on social. Let us know if you like them, and um, you know. Get, get your voice out there and okay. uh, we can see if we can get the uh, the missing rangers uh, in this case. And these are on the same buck as the original ones that you guys put out, right? It's just pretty much we have the unmasked head option. Yeah, you know, I'm not certain about that because um, someone had mentioned that um, the way that this is posed looks like it might be um, on a prototype body. Mm -hmm. um, so potentially um, this could be a different buck. I, I don't I don't have the original nice. to kind of compare it against. Okay. But my understanding is that um, they thought that because it was uh, kind of uh, bent at the knees uh, to help it balance, uh, it could be um, a, uh, a prototype. Interesting. Body. Okay. All right. I'm sure you guys are well aware that the originals go for hella money on a secondary market right now. So this is uh, definitely uh, something that the fans wanted to see to see these come back out. So I know for certain people want to get the whole the whole crew. So. Yeah. <laughs> So you've got our, our movie realization and manga realization lines. Um, so these are um, one of my favorite lines that we that we do. Uh, the, the whole feudal Japanese uh, uh, crossover with Star Wars and Marvel is, they, I mean, it just blows my mind um, how, how unique and creative it is. Um, the Spirit Trooper is uh, is the newest uh, reveal that we're showing. Um, I believe we showed it at New York, but it's or, or New York Comic Con. Uh, so here in New York Toy Fair, it's a little bit further along. Um, and the spear looks really cool. It looks like the, the prod used on the dewbacks um, from uh, A New Hope. So, uh, you know, it looks, looks awesome. Yeah, this is a, a line that I haven't gotten into personally, but that I admire from afar. And I love to see the pictures that people are taking with these. They look amazing. They do look very good. These are like more like seven inch scale though, right? Yeah, they're they're a taller scale. Um, they're they're bigger. They're thicker. Um, they're they're similar to the um, to figure arts, but um, obviously, if you have a figure arts figure, um, you're you know the differences between these. They're you know, they're a little chunkier. Um, it's it's a, it's a different aesthetic, uh, a different line. Um, whereas like the the um, Ninja Batman is is more in line with the figure arts. Gotcha. And then so. <clears throat> So we've got Django Fett and um, and Dark Maul, which are recently released, and I think the Maul is, is fantastic. Yeah, he looks There's amazing. A mask on him, uh, double bladed lightsaber is awesome. Um, so that's a Star Wars, and then um, over here, um, one of the coolest ones is is, uh, is Deadpool. Um, like the Spider Man, he'll be able to have his eyes removable, so you can have uh, emotion, mm. um, so he can show, uh, you know whatever mood you want to have him in um, and he's standing alongside cap which is uh should be shipping uh to retailers anytime now and then the war machine which will follow but deadpool um, looks like he's a little taller than cap is, is that am I um, seeing it no I, th I think what you're seeing is uh cap's knees are bent and he's kind of leaning forward okay um so that's that's why it may look i like, like the that. design on, on deadpool though he does look really cool so oh we skipped over but uh out of the star wars stuff what's out right now i know the troopers are out i know the uh Red Guard dude is out. Uh, everything is out, right? Everything is out except for the Spear Trooper, yeah. Okay. So you should start seeing the Shadow Trooper uh, dropping, like, now. Okay. And Maul is... Maul's out. Django's out. Um, they hit at the end of the year. Okay. Uh, so Maul, you may see, you know, start trickling in now. Um, if, if you're kind of, uh, if you haven't seen it yet, uh, it, it should be getting more wider distribution. Um, and uh, the... Uh, the Shadow Trooper is is hitting now. So, um, Kingdom Hearts, we've got Sora and the gang. Uh, so you've got Mickey, Donald, and Goofy. Um, the, Mickey and Sora have, have been available on Amazon now. Um, and then the other two uh, are available uh, through uh, pretty much all retailers. Um, so, you know, I know there's been hints at a game coming out toward the end of the year. Um, so if you're you're uh, Kingdom Hearts fan, this is a, a really good time for you. Mm -hmm. One of the cool things that we're showing also is the Keyblade replica. Um, 
and and this thing there's a video running on the screen um, you should check out okay uh, the stuff it does it has lights sounds um, it even has a projection it projects a keyhole um, so you can kind of uh, recreate the scene from the game where you're, where you're opening doors. Nice. Um, and this the stand is really cool, un unique. It's got uh, Mickey ears, uh, kind of uh, built into the design. Street Fighter line is, is again that's it's one of my favorite lines um, in the in the figure arts series. Um, the characters like the diversity of the characters. I'm a Street Fighter fan, so to have um, you know these these unique sculpts um, and, and bringing basically 2D um, 2D characters. Uh, from from back in the day to life now is, is you know it's awesome for me um, and Ken and Sakura the, the newest additions to the line coming out later this year um, I think everything else is, is readily available so it, it looked like you guys were gonna go with designs from Street Fighter 5 originally but it looks now it looks like you guys are just touching on anything that, that you want that you want to do I was surprised to see Ken and his regular red gi and and Sakura because Sakura wasn't in Street Fighter 5 right I don't believe she. I don't think was. so, right? I don't think so. Okay. So, um, yeah. So really, it's um, we want to capture the uh, the characters as everyone remembers them, um, and so you know whether that's Street Fighter Five form or I mean R Rashid is strictly in Five. Mm -hmm. um, so we just want we. You know, we want to capture them in the way everyone remembers them, and I think like Akuma, for example, um, that that's the that's the way everyone wants their Akuma, not with a with a lion flower petal no. uh, looking thing. No, so, no, um, we're, we're <laughs> shots fired. Yeah, <laughs> we're, we're listening to fans, and, and and you know that's kind of the direction we're going to um, to go with, with this line. Definitely, definitely. Um, I have all of them so far. I'm definitely going to keep going with these. I did not go outside of uh, SH Figure Arts for my Street Fighter stuff, so I've been pretty happy with them. I think uh, some people were concerned about the face for Ken, though. Looking at him right here in person, though, it looks better to me in person than I saw in the uh, in the solicit images, so it looks pretty good to me here in person, I will say that, but I think that was one of the concerns, was that uh, maybe you guys didn't quite nail the, the face on Ken like you did on, uh, on Ryu, but uh, moving on. Uh, Naruto? Yeah, so the newest item for Naruto is the Sejimo Naruto. Um, we're showing uh, front, and, front and center at the top there. And then I think for the most part, we're just waiting for this thing to spin around. Um, I think for the most part, all the other figures have been um, released or are about to release uh, within the next month or so. Uh, any, any plans for anything else uh, with Naruto that you can speak about? Because I know, again, that's another property that uh, a lot of people want to see you guys really delve deep into uh, with the character selection there so um, I don't know uh, at this time um, I, I think there was one more character that was shown um, previously but I don't know you know what the plans are other than um, you know we're showing Naruto here everything here is out though right I'm pretty uh, sure right I think Jiraiya is actually just hitting out okay possibly um, and Naruto Naruto is not out yet, so okay. it in March, and then uh, and then uh, the, the Sage One Naruto will, will follow later on. So, um, you know, we're not showing stuff like years in advance. Um, it's only for the next couple of months. Okay. It, even the Street Fighter, it's the next two. So the next two Naruto. So um, it's kind of the trend. It's a couple items at a time. But uh, no, um, we don't have to worry that Naruto is going anywhere anytime soon, though, right? Uh, no, the figures are scheduled to come out, and okay. so they're they're coming out. Uh, That's as long as fans buy them. <laughs> right. Obviously, I mean, obviously, we need uh, fan support for the line. So, um, if, if fans continue to buy the figures, um, you know, it's safe. And uh, what what happened with uh, Cammy? I feel like the original uh, pics of Cammy, she was a little more uh, voluptuous in the derriere <laughs> area, and then you guys kind of like cut it down. Maybe I don't know. Um, you know. I don't know if, if, if it's Cammy that lost her voluptuous backside or if it's that Mika maybe distracted everyone away from, Could be. Could be. <laughs> from it because um, she is definitely, um, she's, she, I would say if you're looking at voluptuous, um, that is, that's the definition. You can see um, how, how our team uh, posed that one. Definitely. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, I think, um, I think maybe um, she's getting some thunder stolen from Mika, and that's why it looks, uh, looks that way. And uh, our Mika is, uh, was a web shop exclusive, right? Yes. Okay. So, um, it will, it will be, it's one of those, again, um, 
if uh, if you blink, you miss it. So make sure you, you get on it right away because uh, there's no you know no potential for reissue once it's gone. Nice. Okay. Uh, and the Sailor Moon stuff. You said this was all stuff that was already out, as far as the uh, articulated figures go, right? Yeah, I think that um, the one new item is uh, Venus. Um, uh, Super Sailor Venus, and then we also have the, the two lip rods that we're showing um, from Uranus and Neptune. Okay. Um, prop does. Mega Man stuff? Yeah, so uh, NX Edge. Um, I think most of these, the, the two Mega Man figures are out already. Um, mm -hmm. They're awesome. I think it looks uh, you know, spot on uh, in terms of uh, of the characters, um, you know, in a, in a little deformed NX Edge style. So they're, okay. they're cool characters. Um, awesome effect. Uh, can you tell me about this Mega Man stuff over here too? Yeah, we've, we've released these guys here. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so the 66 action, I'm pretty sure it was Toy Fair last year um, where, where we announced these. And so um, we're expanding the line now on the Shokugan line so you can see uh, Cutman and then I don't know who took a dive. Yeah, he took a dive. <laughs> um, but there's there's another character. Um, Looks like a... It's like a variant Mega I don't think it's another villain. Looks like a, another version of Mega Man, I think. Um, and, then, and also um, doing some armor as well with these. Um, so I think the, the line's been doing well. Um, I know the fan reception to these was, was positive. Yeah, so. very, very much so. And, and especially seeing this stuff this weekend, I saw a lot of people uh, interested in, uh, in these uh, with the armors actually too. Yeah, and then um, one thing we want to show you that you may have missed is... Oh, nice. Um, so... So the super mini qua uh, with the uh, with the power range that we did, uh, the Dragon Zord, uh, Mega Zord that combine um, basically uh, their assembly kits uh, that you that are pre-painted, put together. Um, we're doing uh, a Voltron in the Shogun mini qua line, um, and as you can see, it looks really cool. Yeah, it does. Um, lines uh, will form Voltron, and they'll also be individual. So. Oh wow. Um, okay. It's it's a really like the engineering again. Um, it's it's. Pretty amazing. What's the price point? That's gonna be expensive, huh? Uh, well, not I too bad. 55. Okay, fifty-five yeah. bucks. Okay, yeah, it's, it's it's not bad for what you get. Okay, and, and again, you get to build it and and kind of like it's it's part of the experience is, is building it, putting it together. Mm -hmm. uh, no paint, thankfully, because uh, for those of us who, who can't paint um, or or choose not to, um, no no worries there. Nice. Um, what about the Pacific Rim stuff? You can tell me about that. Yeah. Uh, is coming out uh, March 23rd, and we are showing our, um, our figures. I think well, for the most part, everyone has seen uh, the first six uh, from the new movie mm -hmm. uh, from the Robot Spirits line. I think uh, one of the one of the cool things is we were able to keep the the main uh, Jaeger uh, Gypsy Avenger at a twenty dollars price point. Yep. Um, again, we want to make sure everyone who wants one has the opportunity to get one. Uh, the other characters are. Thirty dollars each, so still, you know, affordable. If you still consider, a great price for it. Yeah, and I got to mess around with these at New York Comic Con. I think as far as like pose them up at the station, they have great articulation. Yeah, and and you know, for if you consider that normally Robot Spirits figures go for uh, for fifty dollars and up, um, this is a, this is a really good value um, for what you're getting. Um, and then you can't have robots without monsters. Right. So um, Raijin and Strike Horn. Um, we're showing these. Uh, Raijin's already available. Um, so I think February February 23rd is a street date on these. Okay. Um, so you'll start seeing them at that point. Um, so we see Raijin, uh, Strike Horn, uh, Strike Horn, sorry, is um, is still uh, no, no details on the release, but um, we're showing it here. And these are definitely to be paired with these. These are all part of yeah, the they more are affordable in scale. Okay, yeah. yeah. Um, and and then um, continuing. Going back to the to the classic uh, line, we're doing the Gypsy Danger and showing the, for the first time uh, in the U.S. the Crimson Typhoon mm -hmm. uh, as part of the Soul of Chogokin line. Um, you know, die cast, lights, um, you know, the typical kind of stuff you'd expect um, from from the Soul of Chogokin line. Um, you can see uh, Danger includes the uh, the ship, the, the barge, um, interchangeable hands. Uh, and I mean, these these look absolutely these amazing. These look nuts. Yeah. So obviously, if I'm saying these look nuts, that means you're going to be uh, reaching into your pocket a, a bit here. So 
Uh, looks like uh, Gypsy Danger is at about 250. I guess the other one's about the same price, huh? Maybe a little bit more. Yeah, it'll probably be around, uh, you know, between 250, 250 and 300 is, is kind of where where these have been falling um, with the sold Shigoki line. One of the things that you know, at, even at 250, all the stuff that you get with um, the Gypsy Danger mm -hmm. um, is, is is a pretty good value. Yeah, um, I, I think this looks amazing, man. I'm not really a big uh, Pacific Rim fan, but these look nuts. They look really good. Yeah, the, the the details and marking on the, the Crimson Typhoon, um, it's for you know. I mean, it really looks worn and beaten, and, and uh, you know, like it's like it's been through battle. So uh, they did an awesome job uh, putting them together. Cool. That's it. We signing out from uh, New York Toy Fair 2018. Thank you, Rich. I appreciate you, man. Thanks, man. All right.